episode 2000 of Local Band Smokeout. Man, it has been over five and a half years I've been doing this show. Any artist, any genre. And it feels like only yesterday I was being told this is the worst idea I ever came up with from an old bandmate. And I said, you're fucking crazy. I'm doing it anyway. And uh, we did it. And uh, I do want to show you guys footage of episode one right here. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Local Band Smokeout. I'm BG. I'm Byron. Basically, the premise of the show is uh, you guys send your music to us. If we dig it, we fucking smoke out to it. And uh, we encourage you to keep sending new music. And hopefully people find new artists, new uh, new genres, basically. Oh, I but it was, it was pretty cool, pretty different sounding. I thought it was going to, at first, be like... One vibe straight through, but it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like a little bit of hard rock, a little bit of reggae, and it's just got it's got. A lot. There is footage from episode one. See how far we've came. We used to be in the studio. Um, fortunately, not there anymore. We did at least sixteen hundred episodes probably in that studio. Um, but yeah, we moved on. We've evolved. Moved from a garage to somewhere else to here. Uh, it's it's been a wild story, man. Um, and I appreciate all you guys' support for doing this. I've been doing it for a while, like I said. And uh, it's not easy, man. It's not easy because we have little to no traction whatsoever on YouTube. But I think that will eventually change someday. I don't know what it's going to take, but uh, we have almost as many episodes as we have subscribers on YouTube. So, uh, so like I said, hopefully that will change someday. But uh, if you guys uh, um, want to support, please go to youtube.com slash local smokeout and uh, subscribe. That would be fucking awesome. But, yeah, so episode 2000, man. So I, I wanted to also showcase uh, a band in particular, but also showcase some of my favorite bands over the year. So you guys will see some of the behind-the-scenes stuff in a minute. But uh, really quick, the showcase band – it's one of my brand new favorite bands that I've heard of lately called Frequent Misconceptions. I think this is like the third song we've done for them in a month. Um, they're at an album in New York. This one's called Upside Down. They wanted me to give a shout out to their ex-vocalist Lloyd, who does cleans on the song. Um, he's not in the band anymore, but he helped lay down all the vocals for the EP and then I guess moved on. But um, I think that's cool that he still wanted to do that. By the way, this band's a metalcore band. Their EP is called To Climb a Mountain. And uh, you can find them at facebook.com slash frequent misconceptions. Before we dive into some other stuff for episode 2000, let's check them out. Fucking awesome. Should almost guaranteed a high score. Let's see what they got. Spark it if you got it. Yeah. I wonder why why he quit. Why did the the singer quit the band? But like as I as mentioned, this is already it's fantastic. Man, this <laughs> shit is awesome. <laughs> The high screams from Josh are so good in this band. The low screams are good too, but the high screams are so like evil high. 
and it's like my favorite style of high scream. It's got like that suicide silence high scream. I really like it. Uh, a nice little break part. <laughs> now we're right back where we started, not a single word. My whole world turned upside down. I swear to God, I will make you proud. Totally join a proof. Big heavy finale. Big heavy finale. Now we're right back where we started, not a single word. Now I'll turn you upside down. I swear to God, I will make you proud. I'll carry your heart into the groove. Now we're right back where we started, not a single word. Now I'll turn you upside down. So good, man. Frequent Misconceptions, Upside Down, Albany, New York. It's like the third song I've done for them. Shout out to uh, Lloyd, their ex-vocalist. I'm going to go 8.9 and a 10, man. I like just about every song that, that I've heard from that band. It It's funny that um, Randy from If I, if I Were You uh, mixed and recorded their album. And it's ironic because it kind of sounds like his band a little bit. So you can like really hear like his influence on it, which is awesome. But yeah, man, please go support them. Facebook.com slash Frequent Misconceptions. Excellent singing, excellent screaming. The production superb. You can't go wrong. Uh, so it's all around just fantastic metalcore if you enjoy it. Guys, I want to show you a couple more things real fast before we get uh, finalized on episode 2000. A little behind the scenes stuff. So bear with me. This is what it looks like when I'm always setting up episodes, by the way. This is what I see. And uh, I want to show you guys <clears throat> some of these Spotify lists of all my favorite bands from over the years. So, check it out. Uh, hold on a second. It's not supposed to be like this. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. I'll just type anything and see if it comes up. Because I just all I want to do is get to this part. Okay, cool. This is all I want to do to get to this part. So, guys, <clears throat> somewhere here you can find my list. I guess it's under BG Goodrich, not under Local Man Smoke. I don't know why. But the first 1,000 episodes I ever did, I made a couple different playlists, and I want you guys to check these out if you get a chance. The first 1,000, these are some of my favorite bands. Um, <clears throat> only 19 bands made it. Out of the first 1,000 bands I ever reviewed, these are my favorite tracks. I encourage you to please check them out. Some really, really awesome stuff. Episode 1001 to almost 1,600 brought us these awesome bands right here. To Octavia, Inertia, another song from Wind Waker, Mirrors, Reside, Saul's on Universal. I think Universal or Warner Brothers Records now. They're huge now. They weren't at the time. Uh, Babarusa's Badass. Dweller's Badass. Another song from Inertia. Alienist. Relica's getting big. Normandy's cool. Phoenix Day's cool. Varsity is getting really big also. Uh, <laughs> it's just cool, like, watching the involvement of the bands, man. And um, a long time ago, I did something called Bands Need to Know. And anyone that commented on it, whatever Spotify song they put, I added it to this playlist, and I ended up getting 225 comments on that post. And that was a that was, I don't know. That was like two, a year or two ago. I think we're about ready to do it again, though. But, um, yeah, so 
this is just a superb. It's 14 hours of of local bands all over the world, any genre. You've probably never heard of just about every single person in this list, but I promise you, there's like 10 of your ne- your next favorite bands in that list. So please check it out if you get a chance. LBS bands you need to know. I guess it's under BG Goodrich and not local bands. So we'll get. I'll see if I can change that. But yeah, this is episode 2000, guys. And it's, it's been a blast. I hope to do another 2000 with you. If you have no idea what you're watching, you just stumbled on this. Facebook.com slash local smoke out. It's completely free promotion. Any band, any artist, any musician, anywhere in the world, any genre. Hit me up. I love what I do. and Hopefully you guys enjoy it, man. I am your host. It's High the Most BG. Saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace.